with your loved ones. But before we can do that, we need to reintroduce them to the real world. A lot has happened since they entered the Big Brother house, and they're about to find out exactly what they missed. Oh, wow. You ready? I don't think I'm ready no. for this. Tim and Jade. Yes. Hello, Big Brother. You have spent 101 days in isolation. <laughs> you have had no phones, no internet, no newspapers, no outside information. Nothing. Nothing. Beyond the walls of the Big Brother house, the world has still been turning. Has it? <laughs> and there is okay. much news for you to catch up on. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Housemates, Big Brother now presents the news of the world from the last 101 oh days. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Peter Hitchener. Welcome to Nine News. Tim and Jay, congratulations on making the final two of Big Brother 2013. While you've been locked away for 101 days, the world has changed. Before you walk out the doors of the Big Brother house, let's get you up to speed on everything you've missed. Thank you. <laughs> Housemates, Australia has a new leader. Liberal Party candidate Tony, Tony Abbott Tony defeated Abbott. Kevin Rudd to become the 28th Prime Minister of wow. Australia. The time wow. for campaigning Congrats. has passed. The time for governing has arrived. <laughs> New South Wales has been devastated wow. by bushfires, the worst in more than a decade. These conditions that we're looking at are a whole new ball game uh, and in a league of their own. Over 50 blazes raged across the state, including the Blue Mountains causing widespread destruction and destroying more than 200 homes. The lady down the gully there, her house is all gone. Had she been home, she'd have gone too. The damage bill has been estimated at over $145 million. And Tim, the bushfires came less than a kilometre from your sisters Ruth and Bethany's homes in Springwood and Falconbridge. Thankfully, your family is OK and their properties escaped damage. For the first time in 17 years, Republicans in Congress chose to shut down the federal government. A battle over the budget saw America closed for business, what? shut down for 16 days. The shutdown put 800,000 government employees out of work, and a further one million were asked to work without pay. Tourists were also locked out of major U.S. sites. Miley Cyrus made headlines after her appearance at the MTV Video Music Awards. The provocative and controversial twerking performance received widespread criticism. They're overthinking it. You're thinking about it more than I thought about it when I did it. The chart topper also split from her Australian fiancé, Liam Hemsworth. To sport now. In a nail-biting AFL Grand Final, Hawthorne were victorious over the Fremantle Dockers, taking out the win 77-62. to And at the NRL Grand Final, the Sydney Roosters clashed with the Manly Sea Eagles. The Roosters reign supreme 26-18. The club celebrating its first premiership since 2002. To motorsport now, where a V8 racer and Tahan's boyfriend, David Reynolds, took out the Gold Coast 600. All this crap everywhere, and that was hard. It was awesome. American rocker Lou Reed, famous for hit song Walk on the Wild Side, died of complications following liver surgery. He was 71 years old. In celebrity news, Kim Kardashian and musician Kanye West announced their engagement. No. While Both after just three years of marriage, Australian model Miranda Kerr and husband Orlando Bloom have separated. No. Wow. And finally, the world was gripped by royal baby fever yeah. when the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, William and Kate, welcomed a son, Christian George Alexander George Louis. George. The newest member of the royal family is third in line to the throne. Like well, housemates, that brings you up to date wow. and you're ready to return to the real world. All that's left to do is to wish you both the very best of luck. Thank you. Sister Holmes, I think. Yeah. Wow. Jade and Tim. Wow. wow. You missed a little bit while you were gone. <laughs> Just yeah. a little. I can guarantee you, though, it'll be your names in the news tomorrow because one of you is about to win. Big Brother 2013 and the grand prize of a quarter of a million dollars. I'm going to leave you to think about that. I'll be back with you shortly because there is one more surprise. Okay.